Hello, test takers. Welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. And today, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to use our guide to solve any FE exam problem in five steps guide. I have this over here. You can download this 100% free. If you don't go to the description box, just tell us where to send it. We'll send you over the guide. But now I'm going to go step-by-step -step through it to show you how I would solve a problem using it and how it really is a great application when it comes to studying for the FE exam. So let's dive right into it. So we have this problem here, and this is taken from the sample NCAS gives, gives you for the FE civil exam. So this is not taking from any of their purchase products. This is literally what they um, show if you want to have a sample of what their practice test is like, which I suggest purchasing. So here it says that four water tanks are shown with varying water heights H and varying nozzle cross-sectional areas A naught. Assume no minor losses in discharge and a common coefficient of discharge of C of 0.6 for all nozzles match the discharge velocity feet per second to the correct tank. And we actually almost skipped a step here. Um, but step one is read the problem completely. So in the guide, I, I say make sure to read the problem in its entirety. Important information may be given near the end of the problem statement and do not assume what the problem is asking for. or You might solve for the wrong value and miss out on solving the problem correctly. So we read through the entire thing match the discharge velocity feet per second to the correct tank. We got some values in here as well that we want to follow. So the most common problem type is a standard equation based problem. The problems give a variety of values that an equation typically found in the FE manual must be used to find the answer. And there's also conceptual problems there. So now we're going to go to step two, identify what is given and find what you need. So I do have the FE manual excerpt here that I'm going to use. So I'm assuming that I went and found this in the manual looking at discharge, looking at minor losses, this is what I'm going to want to reference. So next in the guide, it says, identify what is given and what you need to find. So given would include all these uh, discharge velocities, right? There's five of them, we got to match them up. We also found that C equals 0.6 for everything. And then we were given these different height values. Height values and then also A naught. So these are all the values that we were given for the problem here. Now, what do we need to find? What we need to find is the discharge, discharge of every orifice. And then we need to match them up. So we know what we given, we know what we need to find here. And then step three, identify the equations or methods needed. So it's for step three. So step one, we read the problem. For step two, write out given and find statements. And now for step three, we're gonna find the pertinent equations. I've looked in the FE manual. So find important equations. I looked in the FE manual using the keywords for minor, minor losses. This is what came up. So the important equation we're going to use, it looks like we just need one. Q equals C A naught times uh, the square root of two G H. So that's what we've got there. That's the equation we're going to use. And if we move to step four, convert units and insert given values, this is very important. So if we set up the first one, let's take this first one for example here. So Q, we don't have the discharge, right? C is 0.6, that's unitless, so that's fine there. Area not. Now notice everything's in feet per second. Feet, feet, but area is in inches, right? An orifice, it's a circular uh, orifice, I believe. So four water tanks, varying height, very nozzle cross-sectional areas, A naught. So we're assuming a circular orifice in this case. So that has the, or it, it has, it gives us the area, which is six inches, but we need to convert that to feet. So the area knot is six inches squared, right? And now we need to get it, uh, to feet squared. So in order to convert this, we're going to go from six divided by 12 divided by 12, right? That's the unit conversion there. So we do need to convert all these different areas. I'm going to do that right off the bat. So I can just plug these in um, as we go along. So for area one, six divided by, I'm just going to go 12 squared. That's how many feet squared it is. Same thing here. Uh, this area is two. That's area two, so we're converting the units that need to be converted. 12 divided by 12 squared. 
and then 8 divided by 12 squared. Okay, now we've got our converted area values. Now we can find Q1, 0 0.6. We've got our area value now, 0 0.0417. And then also part of the equation is that square root of 2GH, so 2. And then for the units we're using here, G is 32.2 for English units. And then the height, what is the height for this first one? Eight, right? And then that's all gonna be raised to the 0.5 we get an answer of a discharge of 0.56. Okay, so that gives us a Q value, right? A flow value of 0.5679. Now think about this. What is in flow? It's feet cubed per second. We're looking feet per second, discharge velocity. So we actually need to divide by the area again to get the proper answer. So 0 0.0417. That equals 13.61, so that looks like this first one. So that's gonna match up there. And then we're gonna do this for all the additional uh, flow values here. So I'm just gonna copy this equation down. Obviously you couldn't do this on a test, but I'm just gonna do this for example purposes here. And now let's go 0 0.0139. And then what was the height in this one? Six. That gives us this answer, and so 0 0.1639 divided by, once again, the area of 0 0.0139. That gives us 11.79. I'm going to assume that that's this one here, so that matches up with tank B. Let's go to Q3 here. And now for this problem, we have the area of 0 0.0833 and a height of 10. So now this time we get 1.2684 divided by 0 0.0833. So now we get 15.2, so that one's gonna match up here. And then finally for, so that was Q3. Then for our very final one, this area is 0 0.0556, height of 12, that's going to equal 0.9274. divided by 0 0.0556. And then we get an answer of 16.679. I'm assuming that's gonna be this bottom one here. So 16.7 goes with D. You'll have to match this up on the test. 15.2 goes with C. 13.6 went with A and 11.8 went with B. If we look at the guide here, solve the problem, select the correct answer. If you feel like you've done the problem properly and understood the question, go back and check your units. The units look good here. Flag the problem for later if the question took too, uh, took a long time to solve. Yeah, so if it looked like it was going to take too long, you wanted to flag it ahead. We did find it here. We're going to match up those problems there. So that is the approach here, the five steps to solving any FE exam problem. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the description, and we'll see you guys next time.